whenever you see black men in relationships with non-black women, he's highly under a microscope. He's canceled at the thought of him being with that non-black woman. Now let's look at her politics. She doesn't have much experience in Washington. You know, she doesn't. But for the little bit of amount of time that she has been there, she hasn't done much of anything. She was a district attorney in San Francisco from 2004 to 2011. She was an attorney general in California from 2011 to 2017. And what's very interesting is that she's only been married to her husband since 2014. So she's only been married for about four, almost five years now. But she has been locking people up. She hasn't necessarily been doing the things necessary to put herself in position to be president. People could say Donald Trump hasn't either. But if you look at her during the Brett Kavanaugh confirmation hearings, her and Cory Booker made a complete fool of themselves. They seem like people who were basically bought off. They seem like people who were very much controlled. Okay? And the reason why I um I referenced the video from Fearless 2005's channel that I watched is because he went back to when she was getting into politics and she went to work for this certain black politician, uh, Willie Brown, and she ended up having an affair with him. Basically sleeping her way to the top. And then you look at the way she's acting now. Does that really surprise you? And there was also some shadiness that went on. During, I believe, her elections for attorney general. Now, I'm not saying that all or every politician's hands is clean. Because there isn't. A lot of these guys, a lot of these guys' hands are not clean. One second. A lot of these guys are very dirty. And Kamala Harris seems like one of those people in Hollywood, not Hollywood, well, you can, well, you might as well put Hollywood, in Washington, who seem like she's doing somebody else's work. And now she's running for president. And she believes that because she is a biracial female and Barack Obama was biracial, that she's going to get that black vote. This is why she's so comfortable running for president. Do you really think that if she thought she had a voting base, she wouldn't do this? And I'm, I bet you the majority of people that are going to vote for her and somebody put in the chat room is basically... Black women ain't illegals. I think Immortal said that in the, in the, in the chat room. And that's very true. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she probably slept with a lot of those guys. And, and was getting very good jobs through her ranks up from not even being in politics very much. That's, a lot of these guys, are, a lot of these guys man, they, they fall susceptible to women who look like Kamala Harris. Especially back when she was in her prime. <laughs> When she was in her prime, man, she was getting a lot of attention. Make sure you like the stream. Now, from what I've heard, people have said that she is part Indian, but she's not claiming it because she wants to claim as much black as she possibly can. Even when you look at her, you can tell there's nothing truly black about her. Is she in these black communities? You know, is she really doing anything for black people? But we all know in politics, it's, it's who you know and who is paying you. This is why I don't speak about a lot about politics. People 
speak about politics all the time. They speak about the ins and outs of it. But what they have to look at, what they have to really look at is that you have a lot of these guys who are being funded by all these different groups. And those are the groups they're trying to appease. Her dad is Jamaican, her mom is Indian. Okay. Shout out to Naima. And she's looking for your vote, black man, black woman. She went to school in Canada. So, let me see. Let me get my, uh, my notes. Because she went to school in Canada. That's interesting. Because she was born in Oakland, California. She went to UC Hastings College of Law. She went to Howard University and Westmont High School. So she did attend an HBCU and still didn't marry one of you brothers. But the thing is, is that I know she's part of a sorority, but is that going to help you? And I look at some of these articles and they're, and they're trying to paint her as a, a young black female. 54 is young? <laughs> anyway, well, well, you could say it's young if you have a young spirit. You know, you got a young spirit, you know. And, and you looking at Kamala Harris and what she's doing. She's a typical Democrat, okay? Playing the race card, playing the woman card, the equality card. But she's probably had every advantage in life. I mean, she's probably been around black people. I'm assuming that she has felt a, a bit of superiority. But I I can only imagine. Okay, okay, Nicole. I can only imagine the amount of skeletons that is in her closet. Now maybe she's gotten older and she has forgotten the things that she has done. Maybe she thinks because she's a woman and that's gonna supersede anything being said about her or being found out about her. But when you go through running for president, what's going to happen is people are going to dig up things about you. The campaign is, is very dirty. Yep, even Obama had to marry a black woman. Shout out to Young J, 216. If she's black, so is Tyree's wife. Black women will fall for her pro-black liberal talking points. That's very true. Because people got upset at Tyree's wife. But it, but Tyrese, Tyrese's wife and Kamala Harris look pretty much have the same skin tone. They have basically the same skin tone. There's really no difference, be, but you know Kamala Harris, she's with a, you know she's with a white man, and you know that's the dream of you know a lot of these sisters who are so angry and bitter at the world. What's going on, Marie? Shout out to all the regulars. Yes, I am back streaming on this channel. Make sure y'all like the stream too. Like the stream, people. <clears throat> I was from India, and my father's from Jamaica. She's a black. Shout out to everybody that's coming in. And, you know, to finish up what I was saying about her campaigning, there's probably a lot of skeletons in her closet, man. We don't, there's going to be affairs that are going to be found out, you know, maybe even, you know, uh, abortions. I don't know. All kinds of things. Because she's, she's one of those women that it would seem like she would do anything to get to where she wants to get to. And we all know that black women's vote 
can be easily tainted. Not tainted, but can be easily swayed. Black women will, will vote heavily for Democrats because Democrats give them free stuff, you know, like benefits, you know. That's the only time the women who are getting those benefits want to vote is during uh, for Democrats during the elections because they want to continue to get free stuff. But I want to know where the videos. Where are the videos canceling Kamala Harris? I haven't seen one from these, these females who claim they are for the black family. They're pro-black. They made all these excuses about why they attack black men who are with white women. But they have not made one video about Kamala Harris. Not one. Shout out to Roe Scholar. Says here in NYC, liberals passed late term abortion. I heard about that, Roe. I heard about that. I heard that they say that women can carry the baby up to full term and then terminate it. That is absolutely unacceptable. And the people who are who voted for that same governor are getting exactly what they asked for. Because they voted them in again. So they're getting exactly what they asked for. But New York is very liberal. Very liberal. <clears throat> And if you are a woman that carries a baby nine months and then abort it, you're, you're just as worse as anybody who takes somebody's life. You're just as worse. Yvette Carnell, the only female to cancel her. Yeah, and I'm wondering where the pro-blacks, because Yvette won't really say she's pro-black, but she says she's for black people, whatever that means. But I want to know where y'all that canceling Kamala Harris. I'm talking about you, you staunch pro-black women who will make video after video about black men who are married to white women or in relationships to, with white women. We, I want to know where is the videos? Where they at? Watch now. Okay, Nicole, she made a video. Y'all yeah, mentioned that, that she was in a, the AKs, but that still ain't going to help her win the presidency. I just want to know, are you brothers going to be voting for her? Because the narrative is always out there with us. What's the guy name? The the black conservative, the black, the black guy uh, who ran for president. And they looked into his background. This might have been 2012, I believe. And they found out that he was messing around with this white woman. And it tainted his presidency. Okay, Nicole. Well, you know, people... People, especially black people, see her as black. No, it wasn't Ben Carson. It wasn't Ben Carson. It was another guy. Herman Cain, right. Herman Cain. Herman Cain, they found out that he, that this, this woman literally came forward and was like, yeah, she's messing around with him. And it tainted Herman Cain's presidency. Now, that woman didn't look light-skinned to me. That, that woman looked very white to me. With a short haircut. That, that was a Caucasian woman. Okay? <laughs> Cause I seen her interview, man. That was that y'all can't tell me that's I'm I'm sorry, that's not no biracial woman Herman Cain was allegedly talking to. Oh really, Nicole. Ah. Well well he ended the government shutdown, Nicole, so y'all should be getting paid soon, you know. Even though people are getting on Trump for that, you know. But I just want to talk to the pro blacks. Y'all make all these videos. Y'all talk all this 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 shit about brothers with white women. They don't need to be with white women. Get you a black woman. Only a black woman can help you marry a black woman. Meanwhile, you have a woman that y'all calling black. Y'all calling her black. I'm not calling her black. Y'all are calling her black.
Y'all are calling her black. Y'all saying she's a black woman, not me. These blogs, these, these websites are calling her a African-American woman. And she is so confident that she's going to get your vote. That's why she's running for president right next to her non-black husband. Right next to her non-black husband. And I'm seeing a lot of quietness. People on my Facebook calling her black. I'm, I'm pretty sure they would. They were, Zargon. Because in their eyes, she is a sister. So while they, they want to since, since black, you know, they want black people want to call her black, she's a sister. So I want to know why y'all not speaking about this so-called sister being with this non-black man running for president. Where are the videos? Where is the numerous amount of live streams and panels talking about this? Where are the panels from these sisters, man? Where are the panels at? Where are all the countless Facebook posts and Instagram posts talking about they want to cancel her? Where are that? They not saying nothing. They just going to be quiet. They say, let's be quiet. Let's blow over. Something bigger come along that we can all talk about. And people are just riding that wave. That's why I'm doing this topic today. That's why I'm doing this topic today. Because I've seen some of these people's live streams before. I've seen their videos. Ain't made one video about Kamala Harris being with this non-black man and her running for president because she's confident that she's going to get your vote. I ain't seen one video. But they want to know what Michael B. Jordan is doing. They want to know why this NBA player is... I heard, I heard a woman say in a live stream that Chris Brown needs to get him a melanated black woman. I, <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Rose Scholar again. Said when she was a prosecutor, she was corrupt and locking blacks up like it was nothing. And she's the one that's relying on the black vote, Rose. There, she's she's relying on the black vote. She's relying on the black vote because she's confident that y'all not gonna do no research. And she's like, if if Obama can pull the wool over their eyes, I can. Because they look at, see Kamala is looking at these these uh, celebrities and they see how you know anti-Trump these celebrities are and she thinks that she can ride that wave. And she might be able to succeed because we all know people ain't gonna do no research and we all know some people just don't care as long as it's a, a black woman or a half black woman doing what she wants to do, dating who she wants to date, people gonna give it a pass. 